If you are a fan of Stranger Things, then you know how important Eggos are to Eleven and just as important to this game. Hi, this is Jen from TTPM and I'm here with a new card game based on the Netflix original series, Stranger Things. This is the Stranger Things Eggo card game from Hasbro. Before we get into the gameplay though, the attention to detail and packaging is worth a mention. Open the box and the cards are shaped like Eggo waffles and their holders look like a mini toaster. In the game, players take on the role of the different characters of Stranger Things, trapped in the Upside Down. The goal is, of course, to get the heck out of there, and to do so before the Demogorgons attack. Otherwise, you're toast, pun intended. To get started, decide on your character. There's Will, Mike, Lucas, Dustin, Eleven, Hopper, and bonus character, Barb, who, let's be real, probably isn't getting out of the Upside Down anytime soon. The character cards are double-sided to represent the right side up and the upside down. All players start with their cards placed in front of them with the upside down face up to begin. Demogorgon cards are removed from the Ego card deck and the rest of the cards are shuffled. The top card is drawn. If you don't draw a character card right away, return those cards into the deck until you draw a character card. Deal four cards to each player. Players can view their cards, but keep them secret. Return the Demogorgons into the deck, reshuffle, divide them equally, and insert them into the toasters. These are your draw piles, and play begins. Players then take turns moving counterclockwise, trying to discard a card from their hand by matching it to a color or character on the top card of the discard pile. Don't have a match? You can draw a new card up to two times and try to play before your turn ends. There are additional cards you can draw, though, on your turn that can change up the gameplay. The portal card, which flips your card character and gives you the command to change the color for the next player who plays, and all player ripped, which forces all players to turn their character cards over. Then, of course, there is the Demogorgon cards. There are four in the deck. Once all four of these cards are revealed, the game ends and the Demogorgon has won. You can, however, escape the Demogorgon's attack by completing two tasks. One, get your character card on the right side up, and two, Get rid of all your cards. Overall, this is a card game that is made for Stranger Things fans. We love how they've taken the concept of getting in and out of the upside down and turned it into a kind of escape game that also has some gaming components that remind us a bit of playing Uno as well. There is still a bit of chance to the gameplay, so how long the game lasts really does come down to have the luck of the draw. The Stranger Things Ego card game is age graded for players 14 and up due to the show's scare factor. That said, it can easily be played by younger kids as well. For more on where to buy and current prices, find us at TTPM and subscribe to our YouTube channels for more great reviews every day.